All right, got a little bit of a random video for you guys here today. I'm just going to directly upload this to YouTube. I know I've not uploaded much to this channel, but it's because I've been very, very busy preparing for Halloween for many months now. Um, however, I thought it might be fun to do a really quick little mini vlog showing you guys my collection of Halloween goods that are new for this year. And I'm not, we're not going to go over all of it like in detail, but I just thought, you know, maybe it'd be a little fun to show you this weird stash of spookiness that I've been collecting so far. Um, this is a toy that I got for Sadie, our dog. It's a huge spider and I think she's gonna love it because um, he's got like crinkly arms, which I imagine a dog would like. What is, something fell here. Oh, there's another dog toy. This guy looks really cool. He's like a skeleton. Well, I don't know why I'm pointing that out. You can tell he's a skeleton. He's a little squeaky boy. Been getting, uh, collecting Halloween cereals, which, you know, I'm very excited about. Look at this, the Halloween Captain Crunch. It has a new design this year where he's like a mad scientist. Ghosts turn milk green. Ho, ho, ho. I do like the new artwork there. That's pretty good. And then it is the 50th anniversary of all the monster cereals. And so they went back to the really good retro looking designs. I'm very excited about that. So we got the cereal there. This is a item from Grandin Road, I think. It's a, it's like a radio, like an old fashioned spooky radio. Um, a lot of this stuff is food items down here. So we got the Peep Ghosts. I got the Ghostbusters cereal. Actually, I had to order this online because I couldn't find it, but now I did find it in stores. Some pumpkin spice Cheerios. There's a ooh, hot cocoa bomb. It's uh, pumpkin spice flavored. Lots of... Halloween candies going on here. This thing is pretty amazing. I will give you a little preview of this. Hi, there's me in the reflection. So it's a candle, right? But as it turns, it's actually a skull. How's it doing that? Well, I think it's pretty obvious how it's doing it, but it's really cool. It's a cool item. Here's another neat one. I got this from, got this from Joanne Fabrics. Look at that! I think that's gonna go above my computer this year. Got uh, some purchases, of course, from Spirit down here. Spirit has a new bag, which I like. It's kind of a cool look. Almost looks like a Beistel decoration. This lantern, I don't wanna to spoil too many things because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna do a house tour, but this lantern is very neat. This sold out in my Spirit. There's no more left in there, and I think they had like five, but it's got orange tint and all that cool stuff. You put a candle in there. I love a good lantern. I am, well, there's a nick in my wall. <laughs> this is a ghost from Cracker Barrel. It lights up and swirls. He's got like a cool glowy swirly stomach. Got an animated gargoyle candelabra back there. Got some dried up stuff to accent the decorations. This is cool. Speaking of the 50th anniversary of the Monster Cereals, look at this. They got little um, gummy fruit snacks this year. And I bought two boxes of them, but look at that. Booberry, Count Dracula, Frankenberry, Yummy Mummy, and Fruit Brute. I forgot the were- the, the mummy and the were- there's a lot of glare here. The mummy and the werewolf uh, were kind of discontinued a long time ago, but it's cool to see them included. Um, I don't know what's in there, but it's wrapped up. So we've got, oh, this is neat. I may or may not be doing a video about this. I don't want to spoil anything, but so these are officially 20 years old. These are the uh, Burger King Big Kids meal toys. They're the Simpsons Halloween. We're not going to look into those just yet, but they're all brand new in package. So that's pretty exciting. And again, I don't know, maybe that's going to be a video. I don't know. We got some Pringles. Look at this. I got these the other day. Pringles have Halloween versions and they glow in the dark. The packaging, not the actual chips. Um, this is an iconic part of Halloween season for me. Popcorn balls. They're amazing. Having a popcorn ball with like hot apple cider. Holy smokes. Some Halloween blankets and cool stuff there. Um, But yeah, I'm starting to hoard Halloween stuff and... I'm very excited by that. I feel like I've mostly just shown you guys food instead of like some of the actual decor items. 
So before we end this, I want to at least show some. Oh, I got this yesterday. These are just napkins, but look how cool that is. They look all vintagey and like official. This is how a witch would wipe her mouth after she got done eating a small child. And good Lord willing, that's what I'll be using them for as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, I want to show at least some items here. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. So this is uh, from Joanne Fabrics this year. I love a good, uh, what would you even call this? I love a good mantle scarf. You know me. But that looks neat. Look at that. That's going to come in handy, even though I think I have like two or three of those. These were $15, which is insane. But I did use a coupon, so I did not pay $15. But look at these little candles. I'm not going to light them. But just as a little, you know, accented decoration. I am down with that. We've got some more fabric here of ghosties. Let's look at like one or two more items if I can pull some stuff out of here in time. As you can see, none of this is organized. Oh, here's a shirt. This was on Five Below. This was just... I, I often buy things that are advertised to me on Instagram, uh, and this was on Instagram. They're like, hey, this guy clearly likes Halloween, so let's shove a bunch of Halloween ads in his face. And so that was like five bucks, five below. It's a great pumpkin shirt, and I, I'm excited to wear that. All right, let's, let's find... Oh, here's something. This is from Joanne Fabrics as well. My arm's not long enough to show it all, but it's a kind of a vintage-y looking pumpkin stuff going on there. But, what is this? Oh, a little candle holder. Pretty, pretty cool. Again, I don't want to spoil everything, but I wanted to just do a quick, uh, a quick little video showing some of the stuff I've been stashing away. Of course, I, oh, by the way, I'm going to show this. This is my favorite item, if I can get it off. I don't know if my, again, my arm might not be long enough. Um, this is, probably my favorite item, and we'll end it on this. My favorite item that I have ever purchased from Target. I bought this online. It is a giant blow mold, and it lights up, and it's a lantern, and it's amazing. So, anyways, Halloween's coming.